Amanda, welcome back to my channel, and today I have a makeup tutorial. This is so weird for me, I think I've done a total of three makeup tutorials on my channel, but recently I've been getting more into it and I've been getting a ton of requests from you guys to do makeup tutorials, especially in my um, 2015 favorites. You guys wanted to see the makeup look that I had in that video, so I decided to do that for you guys. It's actually the look that I'm wearing right now on my face. Um, it's just this burgundy, intense, smoky eye with a neutral lip. It's inspired by the look that Gigi had was wearing at a recent event. I forget which one, but I'll put a picture right here. I loved the way her eyes looked in this picture. So I thought it would be fun to do this tutorial for you guys today, especially since I actually do wear this makeup look a lot. I've been wearing these burgundy tones even before I saw this picture from Gigi, but she just inspired me to make this tutorial. So just a little disclaimer, I am not a professional makeup artist, so I'm obviously not going to end up looking like Gigi. In case you haven't noticed, we're completely different races. I have different hair color, eye shape, skin tone from her, so I'm not going to look completely like her, but this is just inspired. So I'm going to stop talking and let's just get right into the tutorial. So to start off my face, I'm going to use my Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer Primer. So I just blend this out with my fingers because it's just a lot easier to use your fingers with primers. So once my face is all primed and ready to go, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is my absolute favorite, hands down the best drugstore foundation out there. So I'm just gonna put a little on the back of my hand and then I'm going to use my Real Techniques Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Um, I've been cheating a little on my Beauty Blender. I still love my Beauty Blender, but it just takes so much time to dab everywhere on your face. So I'm just gonna start dotting this around my face. Make sure to blend down your neck because you don't wanna be that girl who has a foundation line. So like I said before, I do like how fast the Real Techniques buffing brush does the job. Like you just literally, it takes five seconds to get everything blended. But I find that whenever I use a blush to blend in my foundation, it feels a little dry and cakey on the skin. So I am gonna go in with my damp beauty blender and just dab everything out. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect because everything's already blended in. I just find that it gives a better finish. For concealer, I've really been loving my LA Girl Pro Conceal HD concealer and this is in the shade Natural. So what I like to do is squeeze a little bit out and make it into like a triangle shape under my eyes. And I also like to go around the nose and over here, sort of like I'm sort of highlighting because this is a lighter concealer and then blending it out with my finger. Once it's a little blended out, I will go back in with my beauty blender and use the pointed tip part of it just to get into the little crevices of the face and again give it that like real skin like finish. So to set my face, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Setting Powder. This is like a really finely milled setting powder. Um, so what I'm gonna do is tap a little bit, put some on my beauty blender, not too much. We're not full on baking, but what I find is that I like to do sort of like a low key version of baking. I do have a little bit on the tip of my beauty blender and what I'm gonna do is just pat this underneath my eyes and anywhere else that I put concealer. So I'm going to do things a little bit backwards and do my brows before I finish the rest of my face just because it's bothering me that my brows aren't done. So I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Ebony and I'm just going to do thin like feathery strokes. Once I have the main thing filled in, I will just go in with the spoolie and brush everything out just to give it like a more even look. Now my brows are done and filled in and looking decent. I think today was just a bad brow day, but we're just gonna live with it and move on to contouring. So I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm gonna use these two lighter shades. This one's more of a cool tone, but this is too cool for my skin because I am more yellow toned, so this just warms it up. So I'm just gonna tap it in this one and then one tap of 
the warmer shade and then I'm going to just lightly contour along my cheekbones. A little trick that I like to do instead of just doing the fish face, I do like to align my contour with my ear and then it sort of connects to the edge of my mouth here so that's a good visual as to like how a good contour should be. I also like to contour along my temples, down the neck a little, and everything's looking a little good. Sometimes I like to go a, lo a little bit along the sides of my nose just for some extra definition. I'm just gonna continue on with my Hoola bronzer just to warm up the skin and I'm using my Sonia Kashuk stippling brush. I really like using stippling brushes for bronzer recently because I find that it gives you like a more even less patchy application of bronzer, so I like to tilt my stippling brush this way and then just sort of like buff it in that way. I'm just gonna go right above where I put my contour just to blend everything out. For blush, I'm using, of course, the Milani Luminosa blush. This is like the only blush that I use because I think it just goes with everything. So I'm just going to lightly put this above my bronzer. It looks really good with all of the things happening here. The face is done and complete. We're gonna move on to the eyes. To prime my eyes, I'm using the Lorac Pro behind the scenes eye primer and I'm just going to put this on my eyelids as well as a bit under because we are gonna be going on that lower lash line a bit. So for this eye look, we're going with a warmer palette with those burgundy tones. So I'm using the ColourPop shadow in Drift. This is such a pretty shadow. It's like a shimmery burgundy shade. So I'm just going to use my fingers and put this on the outer half of my lids. And don't worry if it's a little messy because we will clean that up a bit later. Okay, so now that we look like we got punched in the eye, <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to use this taupe shade over here. It's like a nice blending shade and I'm just going to go right above the red burgundy shade that we used just to blend it all in. To deepen up the crease, I'm going to be using Sable from the Lorac Pro palette. I'm just going to be using this little elf crease brush and I'm going to be popping that on to the outer V. So now that that's on my outer V, I'm just going to use this clean blending brush just to buff everything in. Okay, so we have that nice like burgundy tone still, but I feel like we kind of lost it when we put the sable color. So I'm going to go in with Garnet, which is the shade right underneath sable. And I'm just going to keep building that up on the outer half or outer third of my lids. And as you can see, I'm doing sort of like a cat eye shape. I'm pointing it out towards the tail of my brow. And then when I blend it out, I am also blending upwards. Okay, so I'm going back in with the ColourPop shade. Just gonna keep building that burgundy color on the outer part of my lids. But instead of covering the dark part that we built up, I'm going sort of more towards the middle third of my lid and popping that right there. Sorry if I'm like flipping you guys off using my middle finger. It's just the finger that I'm most comfortable with using. I guess I just got used to it. To brighten the inner part of my eye, I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Lala. I'm going right on the inner third of my eye, right next to that burgundy color. As you can see, it just like brightened it up and added some extra warmth. I'm gonna go back in with Sable and I'm gonna again put it on my outer V just in case we lost any of that depth. There's a lot of building in this look because it is smoky and we are using a lot of shimmery shadows show, so I do want to balance that out with a matte shade. I'm going to use this um, e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm going to take Sable again from the Lorac Pro palette and put that underneath my lower lash line. O only on the outer part though. I'm also making sure to connect the um, lower lash line with the upper eyeshadow. So now I'm going to take this shade Taupe, which is the shade that we used initially as the sort of blending transition shade. I'm going to use this pencil brush 
and I'm sort of going to blend out that lower lash line and also go more towards the middle part of my lash line. Okay, so we have this like smoky look and I feel like it's missing a little bit of brightness. So I'm going to be using my flat shader brush and going into this shade Champagne and putting that on the very, very inner part of my lids as well as the center of my lids. When you put a bright shimmery shadow like this on the middle part of your lid, it sort of gives it that wet eyelid look, which I really like. So I do like to do that a lot. And I'm also going to bring the shimmery shadow down into my tear duct zone. So in the pictures of Gigi, she didn't have a intense liquid eyeliner wing going on. It was sort of more just like a smoky lash line, which I think suits this look better because it is so intense on the eyeshadow. So what I like to do to achieve the smoky lash look is to just wet a angled liner brush and use black eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna wiggle that through my lashes. This is gonna make your lashes look really, really full. I actually do this for my everyday makeup as well because I like the look of it. So once it's wiggled on the underside of your lashes, I'm gonna go in on the regular eyeliner area and do some eyeliner. Again, I'm not doing a wing, I'm just sort of lining my lashes and smoking it out. You can actually see the difference between this eye and this eye. This eye, the eyelashes look a lot fuller and darker compared to this eye. So I'm just gonna continue that on my other side. Okay, so that should be good enough. I'm just going to be curling my lashes using my Tweezerman eyelash curler. I'm using my L'Oreal Carbon Black Telescopic Mascara. This mascara works wonders. It lengthens your eyelashes so much. Um, I'm also gonna be putting on falsies after, so we don't have to go crazy with the mascara. I don't think I will ever be able to put on mascara with a normal face. <laughs> So we gotta finish off the eyes, of course, with some false lashes because Gigi's eyelashes are exponentially longer than mine. And I'm going to apply the individual ones. I actually do prefer the individual lashes because they're more comfortable and they look a little bit more natural. So I just used the Black Cherry individual eyelashes. These are the not free short black ones and I used about three for each side. I always like to do my highlight last mostly because I forget about it and also because I feel like it's like a nice finishing touch. So I'm using the e.l.f. shimmering facial whip and I'm dotting this along the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to put a tiny bit on my nose and on my cupid's bow. Oh, and I'm also gonna put a little bit above my brow bone and like sort of blend it upwards. I'm going to be doing a nude lip because the eye is very dramatic, so I'm using the Essence Lip Liner. This is the shade 11 in the nude. This stuff is like $2 and it's pretty good. On top of the lip liner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Stormy Sahara. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I just straightened my hair a bit, just like how Gigi had her hair done in the picture. She just had it slicked straight with a middle part. So that's what I decided to do. Um, I really, really love this eyeshadow look. I think the burgundy tones are a unique way to have a neutral smoky eye because it's sort of like a pop of color in an unexpected place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. I haven't really done that many makeup tutorials before, so if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe for more down below. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!